<clears throat> All right, y'all. It's old Smitty here. I know it's been a long time since I've put anything out there, and it's been good reason for that. Yes, it's true. I quit. I, uh, I'd had enough of turning wrenches over so many years um, that, uh, and then, of course, with GM going on strike and parts availability and everything else, it just got to the point where I didn't like where I didn't think that where it was going was going to be beneficial to me. So I decided to hang it up. Hence my toolbox in the background here. Um, it now resides inside my garage. So I think the biggest thing that I've seen with the automotive industry is the push for these EVs. These EVs and the hybrids. And to be honest with you, I don't want any part of it. Um, I don't think it's cost effective. Um, the infrastructure is not there for charging these vehicles. You know, what they don't tell you is, yeah, you may get a really good deal on, a, on an EV, that what they don't tell you is how much it costs to install the fast charger at your house. You're limited on mobility. I can go to the gas station and fill up Pops here, my Honda, in a matter of five minutes and go another 400 miles where you charge an EV, it may take all night to go 150 miles, depending on your vehicle, obviously. So, I just don't see it cost effective. Um, and they keep shortening labor times, and it gets harder and harder to, to make an honest living. Sure, you can make a living it if you want to cheat the system, and that's not the way to do it. Um, I know too many guys that have done it that way, and I, I don't know about you, but I can't go home at night and sleep. Um, I have a conscience. So, you know, I always did try to do my very best at, at what I did. Uh, it just got to the point where I couldn't make any, I couldn't make an honest living at it anymore. On top of that, when I started looking, I've been looking for probably over a year before I actually made the move. And uh, this opportunity that I got now just kind of fell on my lap at the right time. And so I took it. So as of about the 1st of November last year, which would have been 23, um, I left my Chevrolet dealership on good terms mind you uh, and took a parts manager job at Subaru yeah I know I'm going to the I'm going to the imports but I'm gonna tell you something about Subaru they they don't seem to have any trouble getting parts uh, well I say that but as I'm getting into this I'm more and more showing up but they're, they seem to be a pretty decently built vehicle. Um, the place where I've got's got some really good technicians. And they still strive themselves on used cars too because they, they don't have an allotment that they need for getting a lot of new cars. So like I said, I took this in, they brought me in to straighten the parts department out, which I'm, it's getting there. But the biggest thing is, is I'm, I'm not having to turn the wrenches on the cars anymore, which I absolutely thrilled at. Um, this job does require quite a bit more, quite a bit more hours and it's, it's quite stressful at times. But I think I've got a, a crew that I can work with, and if not, you know, I've got to make some changes. I got a, I got a boss that's stands behind me, and uh, you know, let me do what I need to do. 
So, I, you know, I think this is going to be good for me. Does that mean I'm going to quit turning wrenches altogether? Oh, heck no. Um, I still like to tinker on stuff. But at this time, I'm, I'm not really sure that I've got time to do it. Because I'm working, you know, 50, 60 hours a week. Uh, but the big difference is, is I enjoy it. So, I got to the point where I just wasn't enjoying turning the wrenches anymore. So anyway, um, got some other things to, to go over. Um, don't know if I should do it in this one or just say, you know, you know, believe in your faith if you believe in anything, because I do believe that the good Lord put me in this position and put me where I needed to be. Um, I am a Christian, and I do quite a bit of faith, and I, I do quite a bit of praying. Um, some of you all may not believe in it, and that's that's totally fine. But, but... I believe that the good Lord put me where I needed to be at the right time, and uh, so I I continue to to pursue that avenue. Um, that being said, I think this is just going to be a short video, just short and sweet. Uh, to everybody that's hung on for so long, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, I will get some more videos out there. I've got a bunch of them uploaded or saved in there. I just haven't haven't had time to do anything with them, but I will try to get something out for you. Um, I think I'm also going to make some other changes. So you know, keeping keeping well, I'll keep watching for a next video, and I'll tell you what I got in mind. So, that being said, thank you all so very much for sticking with me. Uh, make sure to take care of yourself and each other. God bless you, and God bless America. Bye-bye.